Okay, okay, okay. Versatile Vigilante, man. Young Vince, Uncle Vinny. Back at it with a solo episode. Just got me today. A shout out to all the guests that have been coming on. Shout out to all the interviews we've been doing. Really happy with that. That's with how that is going. But uh, I always enjoy slowing it down, coming in for a, a solo chat. So I want to start it off just kind of, you know, talking about life, man. Talking about what's been going on. I was just thinking, man. I was thinking about an uh, old French Montana lyric. There was an old French Montana lyric um, from the song Bricks and Walls. And he was like, my vision's blurry. I couldn't tell you that far. And that really hit me because I know that song forever. But, you know, um, listening to it then really hit me because I, I feel like I understood what he meant, bro. So last couple of weeks, things go like things have been going well and shit like that. But there's still things that pop up every day where it's just unexpected. You know, things where and and sometimes these these unexpected situations can be a pain in the ass. Let's be honest, bro. I really try my best to like be calm and um, not over like over assess certain things like or if some problem comes up i try not to like take it too seriously i really i really do try my best i feel like i'm pretty good at it but last couple of weeks a couple of things have popped up that you know it kind of was starting to piss me off a little bit or just throw me at just try rattling me a little bit like last week some funny shit happened man i fucking it was i was working and shit and a couple little little things happened where it was just like you know, it was annoyances. It was not. It was just a couple different little things. It was like a. It was like a like a couple flies just swarming around. You know, where it was not even a big deal. It wasn't big things, but it was just like, oh fuck, you know. And then I like pinched my neck or my back or some shit. So I was just like, holy fuck, man, what's going on? Like everything's happening right now, and um, it got me like in a weird mood, bro. It got me in a weird mood where it's like, fuck, what's going on here, like. What 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 am I doing wrong? And and I bring it back to the French Montana quote, the uh, visions blurry, couldn't tell you that far. Because I feel like some days, bro, you're just like, what am I really doing? Like is this really my like is this really what I'm trying to do? Like some days your your vision just doesn't seem where it, it is on other days. Like some days, bro, I can feel like oh I know exactly what I'm fucking doing. I got this plan and I know exactly what steps to take. And then literally a day, another day will go by and I'll be like, what the fuck am I even doing? I don't even know what that next step is. I don't even know what's good right now. My back's hurting. Like fucking people are pissing me off. Like what's going on? And um, I really, I really appreciated that time of that, like this last couple of weeks, man, because it, I was just thinking, reflecting, and I, I really feel like those times when you're really not sure what to do, or maybe you did something and it didn't work out exactly as you thought, those are the times when you really have to trust yourself and really have to know what, you know, what the end game is, what the long-term vision is, bro. You know, I like, you know what you want, but sometimes it's a little unclear of, of how to get there. And I think when those days happen, when, you know, just shit's not going right, things are off. Those When those days happen and you switch up and you start doing things that are out of character, I think that's when problems start, man. When things go wrong and then you kind of get bitter about it or you start making moves that you you typically wouldn't make, you're just trying to like react instead of, you know, taking just just keeping going keep uh keeping it moving i think that's when the problems happen man like sometimes the waters are choppy and like you're just not gonna you're just not gonna be at your best or things are gonna come up and it's just like jesus christ i guess i gotta deal with this right now and i think it's important in those situations to don't over like don't overplay that shit like don't make it more than what it is some days bro it's just like a rainy shitty day feeling kind of blue it's important on those days not to fucking make a a decision that's really gonna impact you 
after when you're not feeling like that anymore, if that makes any sense. Like those days when you're not at your best, I think that's the most important time to just keep doing your thing, like trusting your vision, trusting that eventually like this bullshit will pass and then we'll have some smooth sailing a little bit later on. And there's an analogy I like to use talked about it on the podcast before i love like comparing life and baseball because baseball is such a long ass season and life is like a long ass season too like there's just so many days and so much shit can happen baseball is that same way and baseball has helped me like with patience because in baseball even the best team is gonna lose like five six games in a row at some point in the year there's 162 games in a baseball season the greatest teams are going to lose, like you know, at least once in a blue moon, they'll lose, you know, five, six games. And the teams that are really good are the ones that don't panic. They're the ones that aren't making trades off the off the whim, you know, just because, oh, we got to shake things up or right, we got to fire the manager. Or we got to, you know, move this pitcher down in the rotation. Those are the teams that the teams that do that are the teams that don't win. The teams that keep you know, shuffling the batting lineup or moving players up and down or, you know, just over fucking analyzing shit. Those are the teams that don't do anything, bro. The teams that are good are the ones that understand, hey, this week we're playing like shit, but let's just keep doing what we're doing. I trust the guys. I trust what we're capable of. Let's keep it moving. And that's to me life, bro. Like there's no time when everything's going to be smooth there's going to be times when your momentum is going crazy and things are just lining up and you're knocking shit out of the park and you're you feel like yeah you can't do any wrong but then there's also going to be those times when man nothing's going right like nothing is working as i hoped and then you might start doubting yourself a little bit but my point in bringing that up is if you really trust what you're doing and you really care about what you're doing and and have a long-term vision, bro, don't switch it up just because it's just not going as planned. Those are the times when you got to trust yourself even more. Like with this podcast shit, sometimes I'll drop a video that I think is going to do a certain like numbers and shit and it didn't. And part of me is like, oh, fuck, like what, 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 what happened there? And then another part of me realizes, yo, it is what it is. Like, like just go keep dropping them. You know, that's why I want to be consistent with these episodes, no matter how they do. I just feel like you got to keep going to just keep doing things. And when you switch up your style and start doing things out of character, I think that's when problems happen. You know, it's if you if you're knowing you're going down a bad path and you need to make a change, that's different. But if you feel like you're doing the right things and you're trying your best and things just aren't lining up, I don't think the answer is just switching up and changing your character, man. I think that's the time when you you make a mistake that can really hurt you, you know, hurt you in the long term, as opposed to just kind of trying to keep things neutral for a bit. And, and, you know, keep going, keep going, keep going and realizing it's going to hit at some point, you know, um, when you do shit that's out of character, man, that's when the problems start, you know, that's when you start going down a bad path and, and you know, maybe develop some habits that can be really tough to break at some point. And I don't know. I don't know. It's it's one of those things where the vision can sometimes get a little bit blurry for sure, but you still have that vision. You know, you still know what you're trying to do. So fucking don't fold on on a couple bad days or a bad stretch. You know, don't fucking throw out the whole plan because a couple steps might not have gone as as you would have thought, man. It's not like, bro, you're not going to trade your star player after a couple bad games. So why why fold on your plans after a couple things don't go the best? You know, I talk about this shit because it's shit I go through. I'm literally just talking about things that I've thought to myself, you know, it's not like me telling people what to do. It's literally I have these talks with people and with myself all the time, you know, where it's just like, man, let's just let's just keep it going. One of my favorite soprano clips, a soprano quote story was Uncle Junior giving Tony advice about what it is to be the boss. And he's like, man, you don't know. You never know. You just, as the boss, you, you you just try to steer your ship the best way you can. 
you know, and that's what it is, bro. You never are going to have like a clear path. You just do your best and try to go the, the direction you trust the most. And um, when you go against your instinct, I think that's when the problems happen. And I think that's when issues can really come up. And it was interesting, too, this week. I was reading about the um, baseball trials for the Angels. Basically, what happened there was a pitcher a couple years ago. He was good pitcher, like 27 years old. He fucking died of a fentanyl overdose during the season. Like, they found him in his hotel room and shit. And... Um, in they were investigating and the trials were this week and there was a um, employee of the angels that was found to be providing players with pills and drugs and shit and then it also showed turned up that a couple players including matt harvey was you know fr frequently using drugs and providing drugs to his teammates and shit too and that was an interesting example because Matt Harvey was somebody who was a big star when he was first in the league. He was seen as like next up and he fell off like his career just fell off. And now it turns out like he had some uh, demons and I don't want to talk too much about what he was going through. But because I don't know, but clearly things kind of got out of control. And it's a crazy example to see because you can be at any level in life, but if you start making decisions that you know are bad for you, like doing drugs and, you know, going too hard with certain things, it's going to it's gonna lead you to a certain place. Like, you can't fake that. You once you once When you start doing things kind of out of character, doing things that aren't helping you, aren't good for you, it's going to add up at a certain point. And like this Matt Harvey shit shows it's not about money. It's not about talent. Bad decisions are going to catch up to you no matter what. And um, that's kind of why I was talking about don't switch up the plan, man. Like when you switch up, when you do things out of character just to try to make something happen, I think that's when problems can can really start as opposed to just waiting out some of these rough patches. And when I say wait out, I don't mean just lay in bed. I, I mean, just keep going, keep fucking doing what you're doing and, and you know, you'll get on a little winning streak. Like I talked about the losing streak earlier in the episode. Every good team goes on a losing streak. Every good team also covers that up with an even longer winning streak. You know, if you continue to be consistent and you continue to, to do your thing, practice those fundamentals, you know, keep working, keep putting that time in. That losing streak is going to turn into a winning streak, man. It's just a matter of time sometimes. You you know, everyone gets cold, but if you keep it moving and pushing, you'll get hot too, you know. So that's kind of what I wanted to talk about today. It's really just ran, like, you know, rambling a little bit. I, I'll be honest. I didn't write shit down for this at all. But... um it's interesting stuff, man. When you start doing things out of character, I think that fucks up the vision more than anything else, man. Mistakes and, and accidents are always going to happen. Unforeseen circumstances is always going to happen. But when you start to do things that you don't really believe in, you start to do things, you listen to other people or you're not really confident in what you're doing, that's when the problems happen, bro. If you're confident that you have a vision and you know what you're trying to do, I think you'll be good at the end of the day. It's just, you know, sometimes shit can get crazy out here. So that's what I wanted to talk about for today. I hope some people um, found this valuable. I don't even know if it made sense. Every episode I do the solo ones, I always feel that way. Like, I don't know if anything made sense here, but I think... You know, if you if you fuck with this, you'll know what I'm talking about. Now, it's not for everybody, but uh, I don't know. Hopefully some people understood this shit. But long story short, trust that vision always. Don't fucking um, don't let a couple bad days. Don't let a losing streak change your mind on on what you're doing. You know, the bad times shouldn't tell you you got to switch it up. You know, it should be. If you, if you trust what you're doing, keep it going. That's all I have to say. But anyway, we got some more fire shit coming out, more interviews, more podcasts, more who knows, more more everything. Um, we're out here, Young Vince, Versatile Vigilante. Also, like, comment, and subscribe. I hate doing that shit, but apparently it makes a difference. Like, comment, and subscribe on YouTube, SoundCloud, Spotify, whatever. 
do that shit. I love you. Let's get it. Free Max B as always.